Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video lined up for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Guys, in this video we will be learning match case statements in Python. So what is match case statements? Python is under constant development and it did not have the match statement till Python 3.10. Okay. Python match statements were introduced in Python 3.10 version and it is providing a great user experience, good readability and cleanliness. Right? A basic implementation of match case statements looks a lot like an if statement in Python. For those of you who have some background in other languages like Java or C, match case may look like a switch statement switch statements are functionally similar to if else statement but they require less code when defining the cases right so first we'll see what is combining patterns okay so it would be a bad practice to write the same code twice for two different cases right let's see with an example we'll be asking a input from user employee status this is our input then for a normal case what we have to do we have to check whether employee status is contract lever permanent or intern right we will check these cases with help of if and else okay so if we execute the program so it will ask a status for the employee let me say contract so it will say contract employee okay so this is very simple use case which we used to do right in other programming language right so if you have more employee status in your program in future then what you will do you will keep adding those else if condition this block of code again and again with different status okay so this is not the good way or this is not the good practice to manage this type of statuses in the program so the better way to manage this type of conditions with help of match statement okay let's see how it will work with match statement so what we have to do we have to just say match okay and then we have to say what is our employee status then we have to check condition with case keyword then we have to check different case is not in this list a specified list then we have some default case also right we can say so this is same thing if you run the program again yeah so the spelling was not correct right so you see now the both the print statement is the same because we have first to check the status with old practices and then we have used in the second approach we have used match case statement so this is very easy to manage we can check the condition as well okay many conditions we can put here also if you want to say if it is a lever if you run the program again and this time if you say lever then it will say so there is a space in the beginning lever so it will say first this message okay and here in this statement else would be executed because this lever is not matched with any of the if or else condition that's why in the first block we got in turn right and the second statement we got contract and lever right this condition the same thing you can do here if you want to do so this was the or for here so if i say lever so it says right contract employee and this one okay this is the same thing but here this is more clean okay conditional cases is what we can apply the condition on the same case right 
how we can apply the condition let's say we have employee age we are checking case n if n less than maybe 50 okay n means it's a argument here this is called a conditional cases right here we are saying if n is means age is less than 50 then we will say less than 50 this is other way to check the match statement okay we can say 50 no match no age match if we run the program again so first it will ask us the lever right so this is printed age is 50 because age is less than 50 so this condition was checked now let's see matches over list and dictionary so how this will work assume we have some list variable with us and then we are saying case we can say one two and four case one and two then we can say check the other more condition if the first element is one and if we have more elements right anything then we can say okay and case default let's run the program let's run it so in turn let me clean thing so the first condition is printed for the list right contains one two and four because one two and four we have hard coded the list when this condition was matched that's why this message was printed let's see if we change the list like with one and two and then run it okay so it will say one and two you see it will say one and two because at the run time match statements giving us the power right at the run time even we can check the any type with any elements you see now check this condition more condition so if we say first element should be one and another element should be like four five right so then it will print so we run the program you see it printed one and more this this empty statement okay right and if we print if we pass nothing okay then it will say no element found because this list is empty and none of the case was matched neither this neither this neither this okay so only this statement was printed right now let's see what is the dictionary case okay let me take one dictionary okay let me take employee equals to what we have to do we have to just create a function check let's say dictionary and then we have to pass our dictionary and we have to say match if we put the condition with mobile right and the default case you can remove it control C and then you can call your function right and you can pass on this dictionary here okay very simple let's run the program again and you say leave in the lever if you see the message this is the name only why because when it checks this condition it match this condition with with first condition okay here in the match so it found okay this is true that's why this printed this message okay if you put a different name for this condition for this case and run again then it will tell you a different message right you see this is name and mobile because now complete 
case was matched from here okay and we have put the wrong name here that's why this name was not matched with this condition and it came to second statement this is how its flow is going on in the match statement this was dictionary okay if you want to check other let's say this one so it will print okay so it will print this is name only right this is name only so this is a power of match statement you can check any data type okay in the case statement it is very powerful now let's see our fourth point structural pattern matching structural pattern matching means if you have your inbuilt data type in python so that you can check even okay how let's say i have diff one function let's say print and we are checking case integer this is integer then you say print integer if you type case tuple right print value types we pass one first time this is integer this is third okay so let's print it so you see integer it got a string it got right if you pass how to pass tuple so you can pass tuple like in round brackets like four news right then in the program so it is tuple right so this is the way how we can check the data types also with help of match case statements now in this last point structural pattern matching we can match our customized classes as well okay how we can do it let's say we have some class and let's say employee registration just create a one object of this employee registration okay then we are saying match b okay in this statement we are saying case we are saying employee registration we say if it is raj okay we are saying name equals to raj and age equals to let's say 31 or let's say 30 then print okay this is the print message we are passing and second condition we can we can make it false right then we can say it's raj1 it will not match and then we are oh, and let's execute it okay run the program so we are saying lever it's the previous one so it matched the name is raj and age is 30 right because this condition is matched okay let me take if i take it to 32 then what it will run okay so it will run that's nothing okay because none of the case was matched right if we say this time raj1 then it will match this condition okay so raj1 32 okay it is 32 and it will print it okay you see the name is rajwan and age is 32 so this this line is printed okay it is 32 okay so this was our structural pattern matching so we have our customized class our custom classes and we are matching its criteria okay the constructor we are matching here different different values we are matching with the case statement okay it is called a match case statement in python all four cases we have covered 
if you have any question any query please comment in the comment box okay so this match case statement was introduced in 3.10 version that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video